Welcome everybody to the 40 EDR Threat Hunting module video series. In this video, which is video number 4, we're gonna introduce the Match Attack Framework and we're gonna see how we can leverage the framework using a project called Match Attack Navigator. This particular um, framework will support us to simulate the different uh, techniques or uh, threat actors techniques and see um, how the 40 EDR with, uh, will deal with those. So in order to quickly um, leverage the framework, we are going to use this particular project, mitre-attack.github.io, attack navigator. So what is MITRE ATTACK? The MITRE ATTACK framework stands for Adversary Tactics, Techniques and Common uh, Knowledge. Uh, according to, um, to MITRE organization, a, the MITRE ATTACK is a globally accessible knowledge base of adversary tactics and techniques based on real-world observations. So, which means you can think about it as a database that uh, collects all those um, threat actors techniques and uh, put them on a, a, a single uh, framework where you can read about the different techniques, attack behaviors, the use tools, etc. So this particular framework, which you can see on the screen, the Mitro Attack Navigator, will support you to um, leverage that framework. So you can read here the definition. They are saying the Attack Navigator is a web-based tool for annotating and exploring attack matrix matrices. It can be used to visualize defensive coverage, red-blue team planning, the frequency of detected techniques, and more. So this is our goal in general. We are going to test the effectiveness of the 40 EDR. So let's create a new layer. We have the ICS project, the mobile and enterprise. So since we are interested in the enterprise based attacks, we can click on that link or that button. Here you can see the matter attack um, constitutes of uh, three things. We have tactics, and we have techniques and we have procedures. That's what is uh, called TTPs, okay? So the tactic uh, that you, you are usually he hearing about it, they are these uh, big titles in, in this table. Reconnaissance, resource development, initial access, execution, persistency, privilege escalation, etc. So you can think about a, ta about a tactic as the attacker goal. So, for example, an attacker has a specific goal uh, where he needs to get initial access to your environment. This initial access, you can consider it as initial act, uh, as a, a goal, okay? And this goal or this tactic can be achieved using different techniques. So the attacker, for example, can use a drive-by compromise we're going to come into that later on in the, pre in the future videos. The attacker may exploit public facing applications, of course, vulnerable applications, external remote services, like for example, DNS, uh, even you can say HTTP, NFS, FTP, hardware additions, maybe he can bring some Raspberry Pi and put it in your environment in case the attacker has uh, physical access to your environment. You can use phishing, uh, replication through removable media, splashing compromise, trusted relationship, valid accounts, etc. So these techniques can be used in order to achieve this goal. So the attacker may use all of those and at the end, only one technique will work uh, for the attacker. So again, the tactic is the goal of the attacker. Just take it as it is, as this definition, okay? This goal can be achieved with different techniques. The techniques are listed here. So even here you can see the reconnaissance has 10 techniques, the resource development ha has 7 techniques, the initial access 9 techniques, etc. 
And one more information about the techniques. The techniques can be found in different tactics. For example, a valid account can be found in other, in another tactic. Let me see if uh, that's a good example. Yeah, no. valid account now is in persistency, in privilege escalation, and initial access. Okay, so now what's the point behind using this project? Simply put, here we've got a beautiful um, uh, to be honest interface. You can name it here. For example, let's say APT twenty nine. We're gonna uh, deal with APT. APT, for example, 29, right? So now it's called APT 29. So now we've got a beautiful search bar here. Okay, here you can, for example, um, search uh, the techniques you want by threat groups, by software, by mitigations, etc. So now I'm interested to search by, um, let's say, threat groups. Threat groups, I want to look for APT29. So you can select it, okay? And you can um, come here to this uh, color and change the color of the techniques. There is a scoring here. We can give it a score. This is just to differentiate between two techniques. Let's assume that you have a goal and you want to uh, compare between uh, APT29 and APT41. What are the techniques uh, that um, uh, are um, that can be found on both uh, APTs, and what are the new techniques or uh, the new techniques uh, located in one of those? So here we we see that APT29 uh, used the initial access techniques and. It's using four techniques, exploiting public facing application. Whatever technique works for the attacker, they will go for, uh, for that uh, technique. And by the way, when we say APT, advanced persistent threat, we are not going about, we are not talking about the tools. We are talking about threat profiles, about people, about attackers. And many people think about an APT as a software, as a tool, okay? It's not about, it's about who, who is doing the attack. Okay, so now how can I take benefit of this, okay? So let's assume that, for example, credentials um, or external remote service or Windows management instrumentation. Let's take this example. The beauty of the MITRE attack, you can right click it, and you can view the technique look here it will redirect you to this particular page you can see the mitre attack there is no sub techniques okay and it's telling you anything everything about it so here the attacker uh, may use the decom for example the decom execution may be enabled winara may be enabled on port uh, 5985. Uh, he can use WMIC tools, which uses RPC and other things. So, here you have all the threat profiles that are using this particular technique. Okay, mitigations and the detection here. Okay, the detection here. So, for example, here the data source is command. So uh, you can read uh, more about um, this uh, this uh, technique. For example, it is giving you many, many uh, great things about Linux and Windows. Okay? Um, okay, so let's come back here. So now that you know about this, uh, let's assume that we want to compare uh, APT29 with APT41. You can hear create a new layer, um, enterprise layer, you can name it here APT41, uh, for example, okay, we can come to the search bar, we can search by threat profile, 
hopefully we have it yeah we have apt41 and now we can come to the scoring give it giving it a score of two change the color to this one create a new layer and here we've got two things apt29 and apt41 you can create a layer from another layer the third one here you have the domain let's say my attack v10 the scoring expression as you see here we have a and b it was given a letter uh, name here apt29 it was given given a and this is b so i will say i want to add a to b and that's it this is really simple so we'll create a layer from me and it will tell you that okay um you have the red uh look here the green uh it's score four four and this is one so you can see the addition for example we we give uh, the the apt29 we gave it score one and apt41 we gave it score three so three plus one is four if you can if you notice here the score is four which means this is uh, this particular technique is used by both of, of them here score one which is apt21 here score four it's used by both of them look so you can go here this is score three which is used by apt41 so this is really awesome framework uh, project if you will and you can use it in order to simulate simulate those attacks in our video series we are not going to use um, attack simulation tools like atomic red team etc but i will do my best to simulate all those attacks manually uh, so you can uh, learn how to execute those attacks, understand the attack behaviors, and um, most importantly, see how the 40 EDR can um, deal with those uh, attacks. Thank you very much for viewing this video. See you next time.